Hello, and welcome to Axis and Allies. Uh, for the first round, we will be playing as the Allies. So, you, you know, the uh, Soviets, the uh, United Kingdom, which also includes Canada and Australia, and uh, the USA. Just going to do a quick little change on the options. That should do it. Just that way you have to take two capitals for the victory. So, uh, just to say... Uh, I was going to say. Oh yeah, the music in my game is busted, so that's why I've got my own music playing in the background. So this is just a mix of video game remixes, video game music, and some, you know, conventional music. Uh, to give you a rundown on the turns, the weapons development. You uh, buy this, here you'd spend five IPCs, and you then you'd roll dice that would go in these spots. If you get a six, you get one of these powers at random, which can really increase your abilities. But the Russians are under pretty heavy siege, they don't have the money to spare, so we're just going to buy infantry with them. And uh, pretty much, when I play as the Russians, I'm not very aggressive, because I'm trying to do everything I can to, uh, just to hold off the Germans while I try to get some reinforcements from my friends who are around. And uh, I'll move these guys out here. That's going to help reinforce the British Navy, because the Germans are going to attack them next turn. As you can see, the turns go Russians, uh, Germans, the British, Japanese, and the Americans. Alright, so here's how the attacks work. Uh, these guys here, if they roll a 1, they get a kill on one of their troops. If these guys roll a 3, or a 2 or a 1, they get a kill on them, and vice versa for them. So, after I attack, even if they're dead, they get to fire back once. So, you know, I hit them all, and they hit me back with 3. So, I assign the 3 hits and go, done, and that's it. That's the end of that battle. So, that battle went relatively well. So now I'm just going to move a bunch of troops over. I'm going to move uh, these guys over to here. And I'm going to move these two guys down here. I'm going to basically try to reinforce what I can down here and help out everyone else. This is the non-combat round. And then you do your place your units. So i got to either place them in Russia or Karelia where my factories are. And yeah, this first video is going to be full of information how this game works. But anyway, I'm going to put everything in Karelia because I want to worry about the Germans at their counter here. Which They're probably going to take Ukraine back because they typically do that. They're a bunch of jerks. Alright, so that bomber's attacking my transport Labrador C. If I get lucky, he'll roll a 1 here on the way out and take the bomber. Nope. That's too bad. Here they come after the North Sea. Now, when a submarine attacks, you can't... whatever dies doesn't get the counterattack. But battleships take two hits on the settings I've got set into the game. So I'm going to do that to keep him around as long as I can. Well, that didn't last that long. Come on, hit him back. Only one. Oh, there goes my uh, battleship. Take one of them with you? Nope. Not a very good battle at all right there for me. And they're taking me out here. Come on. Hit them back. Not having a lot of luck here. That means the, I'm going to lose the Anglo-Egyptian sedan real quick. And bam, like that. Now what I'm going to do is, uh, once it gets back to my turn, I'll, uh, I'll put the dice rolls on slow here so you can see it a little better. Uh, we'll go with standard roll. This way you should be able to see it. So with the British, I don't want to buy anything. Uh, that round did not go well at all, and they're in my waterway, so what I'm going to do is, I'm actually going to buy a factory, put it here, to help reinforce this area. So I'll buy a factory, so I can put it down there, industry, I guess they're called, and then up here I'm going to get myself some, uh, actually I think I'll grab myself a bomber, what the hell. And this turn, the British can't do a whole lot, I'm just going to attack that, and I'm going to do a specialty uh, bombing run as well. So, my British guy is here, and I can bring him into here with me to help. This could be dangerous, but uh, we'll do what we got to do, because I really don't like those guys, and I want to take control of the sea when I can. It may not last very long, but uh, we'll see. I'll put him down there. All right, now we're done. So, let's do this sea battle. See those? There's the, the two rolls. Alright, they get to counterattack, he missed, then he rolls one, and he missed. So they're both dead and nobody dies for me, that's great. Now down here you may be saying, why are you sending one bomber in against all those guys? Well, I'm not attacking the troops. I'm doing what's called a strategic bombing, where the AA gun tries to shoot me down, and this point it missed, and then I then they roll off screen one, two, three, four, or five, or six, and whatever you roll is how much money you take away from their stores. So as you can see, they lost two. So, you know, it, it, it'll, it weakens them a little. And that's the end of combat. So airplanes have to land in friendly territories. Otherwise, uh, 
what does it say? Otherwise, they, uh, like, they can't land on stuff that's just been taken, so, not that I took anything, but, like, the Russians, I had to bring their planes back, and I'm gonna retreat him, uh, what else do I gotta do? I think that's about it, there's not much the British can do, really, at the start, they're pretty weak, because they've been getting pounded on by the Germans, if you recall, so we'll place our industry down at India, and we'll put a bomber right here, all right, that makes 26 uh, IPCs. Now it's the Japanese turn. Now we're going to see what they're going to do. They're coming after me in uh, China. Oh, they got one hit on me. Come on, hit them back. Well, that's one, but that's not going to be enough with those planes supporting them. Miss? No. Hit them, hit them. Uh, if he, if he would have hit, they probably would have destroyed one of their planes to make sure they could take that property. All right, attack on a submarine. Uh, I don't get to counterattack, so I take out my weakest one. They, that guy just missed. Now these two are going to attack, and they landed one hit. Bye-bye, carrier. He missed. Now, come on, jet. We need your yeah, fighter. Oh, they both missed, and I can't retreat because there's an airplane. If it was only, if it's exclusively amphibious, I could retreat after this, but I can't. Take one of them with you. Thanks. But that that's not good. That is a very nasty navy they've put together. So now I've got to do the same type of thing with the Americans. Getting control of the Pacific is very important, and uh, as you're soon going to see, you need to have as much as you possibly can helping you out. So, I lost a carrier. I need a carrier. I hate to be one of those guys, but I need to have a carrier in the water to help me, and I'm going to get a couple subs. Basically, I'm sacrificing getting, you know, good troops put together uh, for heading out. Oh, these guys can just go out. They're going to distract the Nazis and maybe hold Algeria if I'm lucky, and hopefully that transport won't get sunk, but, well, you'll see. Uh, and I don't really have enough troops to attack, I don't think. I could bring three, four attackers on that, but they're pretty tough, so I'm probably not going to do that. Just because, well, I'm being a wanking pussy, I guess, but, you know, you take what you can get, right? Anything I could bomb, maybe, that's out of place? Not really, no. So, that's it. The Americans aren't going to do a whole lot of nothing. This is pretty lame. How could they have a bomber in there? They just took that. Well, whatever. I'm going to... I'm actually going to go there because I just... I'm going to sacrifice China to get that back because I want to set up a kind of a wall. The Russians can get there quicker. So, so yeah, I took Algeria. And it's going to be green because the Americans take control of it because it was a German holding initially. If you take uh, an Allies holding, they get it back. Like, it was an Allies thing, like the British. Most Africa was British. If I start liberating British colonies down there, they get them back. And there's Miss. Come on. Please hit. Thank you. I don't know why they're taking out the infantrymen, but uh, I guess they think the bomber's more important. But See, bombers can't defend worth a crap. That's why... Oh, I missed. Come on, guys. Finish them off. You. You have a 50% chance. Do it. Thank you. All right, good. So... We're going to go into preferences, and we'll go back to quick roll now that you've seen how it works. And that's the end of that. So, non-combat, we'll move him down here to help there. And uh, we're going to move this plane over here. And this bomber is going to go out to Midway. Because he's going to help me uh, when the next turn comes up. Unfortunately, I don't have a whole lot of fodder here, but these guys shouldn't attack here next turn because there's just too much stuff in their way. What can you do? All right, so now we'll place our stuff. We'll put our sub and our carrier. And unfortunately, we can't put planes out in the water until there's a carrier to actually hold them. So then after a round, you get this uh, paper. And you, the, for instance, this one says the Russian military forges ahead. So they must have made a big gain. You look over here, it gives you the, the uh, money gains. Americans gained slightly. The Germans stayed equal. The British lost horrendously. They always lose in the first round. The Russians gained and didn't lose. And the Japanese stayed equal. So all in all, that was a pretty quiet first round, except that the Japanese uh, sort of, sort of kind of did uh, sink half my American fleet, which is too bad. What can you do? And then over here you got the quantity of units lost, and then the value. So like you know, a fighter is worth twelve. So you lose a fighter, that's twelve. So you know, if you spent eight a value of eighteen units to kill that one fighter, well then you got a minus. As you look, the British took a horrendous pounding, and the Americans took a slight pounding. Everyone else is in the positives. But anyway, that's the end of round one. So tune in next time to see round two. So until next time. Until next time, pardon me. I'm Brian Solver. Keep your stick on the ice.